now we're walking along Nathan Road. Quite congested. We're on our way to dinner. We are going to use the vouchers from the Hong Kong tourism, the one we got from the airport. To recap, this is what it looks like. I believe it's still valid until March and they change it up every season. So we're using the vouchers because each account gets like a hundred dollars off for a minimum of 100 purchase to select um, partner establishments. And we already found one that's cheap because some of the, the restaurants there are a bit pricey. We found one called Cafe 100%. Walking distance from the hotel, so that's the plan. We're here now, the Kowloon Hotel. It's in the basement, it wasn't very hard to find. Happy 100 signs there. There's MTR access. Then further down. It says basement two. Cafe 100. It's kind of a failure. It's actually closed. Um, the promotion was kind of messed up. An apiko because it said you you may go after 6 p.m. to avail of the coupon but then uh, when we get there the business hours it says it's until 6 p.m. so that was a little bit of a bust I guess we're off to look for another restaurant I don't know if we're gonna use the coupon tonight so the restaurant we found for dinner was accidentally discovered we just kept walking and we found this dead-end street filled with restaurants all around see all the way to the end, there's like an Italian restaurant, Japanese, cafes, and we decided on something called Sham Chai Key Restaurant, where they seem to specialize in clay pot dishes and omelettes. And so let's go in and have a look. This is their English menu and the review for this is going to go a little bit fast as this was the dinner rush at a high traffic restaurant and we didn't want to hold the table for too long. Okay, so this came first. Sorry, we kind of touched it already, but this is the omelette with rice. This is combination, so it's $63. It's uh, asado, barbecue pork, and then shrimp. There's already rice, you can see from here. And then there's free soup there. So actually, uh, this is, I think, good for sharing already. So this shrimp and pork barbecue char siu omelette comes with a brown sauce, a savory sauce. It's not sweet, not like a teriyaki sauce, but also not soy sauce, not pure soy sauce, but it's kind of maybe pure, but it's like soy sauce based. Now this is the shrimp wonton. You have one, two, how many pieces are there? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight pieces wonton. This is for $40. You have the option of ordering with noodles or without. And since we already have rice and we ordered a clay pot rice as well. So that's a lot of rice split between um, three people. 
we just ordered just a soup. This is a signature of theirs. So the shrimp wonton, let's take a bite. Very crisp, fresh shrimp, no fillers, it's pure shrimp and they're not in tiny chopped up pieces, huh? These are regular size, whole, whole shrimp pieces. So now here is the clay pot rice, kind of arrived, it arrived with a lid but they removed it quickly. It came with this soy sauce or something, some sort of sauce. So I will show you, there's a piece of eel there, quite a big piece of eel. So now, let's talk the eel. This eel, the way it's cooked, it's so tender, not mushy. And it's tender but not dried up and not mushy either. That's right. And then it comes with this soy sauce. The soy sauce, is, I thought it was just gonna be like, are either barbecue sauce or kikoman, but this is like a sweet soy sauce. So here's my observation, even if I put a little bit of sweet soy sauce there. You know, this is Hong Kong foods in general, not too salty, really balanced flavors. Really flavorful, but not heavy on the salt and MSG. That's what I noticed. palatandaan niya malapit siya sa the Ashley Road yung dead end street na yun subscribe to this channel so you won't miss the next part